First, make a variable called start and set this to be zero. We'll use this to track the start time of the applause. Now look at the input blocks and find on loud sound. It's with the other blocks for the new micro bit V2. Add a block to set start to be the running time in milliseconds or thousandths of a second. This block is also in input under more. Make sure you pick the MS millisecond block, not microseconds. The running time block keeps track of how long your micro bit has been running its program. Now, when the microphone sensor detects a loud sound, it will set the start variable to be the current running time. Let's show an icon on the LED display as well, so that we know it started timing. Next, get another on loud sound block and change loud to quiet. As it may be quiet before the applause begins, we only want this to do anything if we've started timing, so add an if block and a comparison operator. We will only do anything if the start time is greater than zero, which will only happen if the start variable has been set by a loud sound. Make another variable called time. Set this to be the running time minus the start time. Then set start back to zero so we know the timer has stopped. Clear the LED display and pause slightly before showing the time of the applause on the display. This makes it easier to read. Because running time is counting milliseconds or thousandths of a second, we need to divide it by 1000 to show the time in seconds. You can decide how loud a sound needs to be to start or stop the timer using the on loud sound threshold block. You'll find this under input and more. Bigger numbers will make the timer start only when louder sounds are picked up by the microphone. You can also decide how quiet a sound needs to be to stop the timer by copying it and changing the quiet sound threshold. You can test this out in the simulator. But why not flash it onto a micro bit and test it out for real?